being swallowed by a Galuga star whale, the raiders broke into a mining colony to harvest Vinellium for repairs. After a near impossible escape, they find themselves seeking some form of entertainment. Captain, sensors are picking up massive sonic distortion coming from that moon. Wait a second! That's no moon. That is the Stellar Venue Concertium! That must be the Heat Death Concert! <laughs> I couldn't get tickets for that, especially with that price on our heads. Uh, fly us in closer. Sir, there is a scrambler on the audio feed, and there are significant bouncer ships around the planet. There is a scrambler on the audio feed, and there are significant bouncer ships around the planet. Drat! How can we get closer to the action? All we need is the right disguise. Roadies? I can vector warp between black holes and we have to pretend to be roadies. Ah, quiet! They are letting us in the perimeter. Sir, we now have access to the audio feed. Sir, I believe this is a gyrillium thought set that creates an audio representation of thought patterns. Ooh, ooh, I want to try it. Sir, we are not trained in the techniques. You're quiet. Hook me up. That's about right. Uh, here, Cardi, you try. Don't judge me. It's my heritage. Think. Let's try you next. Captain, I do not think it is a good idea to... Oh, oh. What is that? It's the meditative chant of my people. This isn't going to be pretty. Will the Galactic Raiders be discovered? Will they be bounced? Will Sync be the next Galactic sensation? Find out next time on Galactic Raiders! The fellow down from me puts his back wheels on his mower about six inches up and his front one's lower, so he mows at a, all his grass is growing like this, uh, going starting low and going high. And uh, you know, the neighbors, we all think it's kind of weird, but he likes it, so you know, you can do anything you want to. You can have an artistic landscape in business, I guess, but I'd give advice. I'd say make it your own, do your own gimmick. You know, let people hire you, and then maybe don't mow their yard for two or three weeks, and just tell them you did, and, some people will go, oh, that looks great, I like it. You know, won't even know what you've done. And you just go, uh, just cast a check. The the box turtles, I, I, you know, we talked about this one before, they'll eat tomatoes, I found out, strawberries, uh, and then I found out it's just red things. They'll eat anything red. They eat a red hot, they'll eat a, uh, a red beef jerky stick, they'll eat uh, uh, ketchup, if I, if I, you know, put it, rub it, in my hands and get it all over my hands, they'll lick the ketchup right off my hands, and that feels that feels funny. <laughs> I tell you what, they got rough tongues. And box turtles. That is duck oil. Uh, I use duck oil and also some just bacon grease and all kinds of different. Uh, uh, you know, it, it sounds weird. I don't throw anything away. I re reuse everything, compost it. Use it. I've often rubbed uh, old, old, old eggs, rotten eggs, uh, cottage cheese, coffee grounds. I've put everything in this beard, and it just seems to just keep fighting it off, fighting back, and, and coming back. And it just, after a while, you know, <coughs> it smells good. Lynette, before we before you leave, before we let you go, we got to play a game with you. Obviously, okay. we got to play a game, right? <laughs> uh, our game is called it's the ever popular, growing, fastest growing game on this TV show. It's called Wheel of Squares. That's right, everybody. So for Wheel of Squares, I just need you to look right over here, right. and when you're ready, uh, you're gonna yell stop, and our wheel will stop spinning. I first need to spin the wheel. So spin that wheel. Oh, you stopped on a good question. Okay, let's go for it. Um, what fictional place would you most like to go? A fictional place. So a place that doesn't exist in reality, but a place that might be fun to travel to. it doesn't to. have to involve sports. It doesn't have to. Fictional. No. 
You know what? I would like to go to Narnia. Oh, I like this answer. Yes. yes. Um, I think uh, after would watching you? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, yes. um, it's just a really cool, magical place. Yeah. And so you'd go through the wardrobe, you'd travel. Would it be winter when you got there, and so like the whole story would kind of play out, or what? I, I could get down with that. I'm really not a winter person. Yeah. Um, so the transformation from winter, winter to, to summer spring. Would, be, would be critical for me. Right. You'd yes. be ready to be there at the instant that the life came yes. back to Narnia. Absolutely. I yeah. love it. I love the, the ice breaking apart yes. and the flowers blooming. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Lynette, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and stick around, folks, because we have more happening right here on Later. Think fast. A flame is in fuego. I'm so glad we can finally be together, Romeo. And with all this money. Yes, Kim. Oh. Now we can. I sent that jerk Fletcher someplace he'll never come back from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Come oh, on. You only have one eye. We all know where this is going. Yep. Light him if you got him. Our flame is in fuego. Hey, everybody. Instagram Paul here. <laughs> hey, this is a big day, big time, big de big deals, big day, big time. Later with Jason Sewell show. Artificial intelligence, just like it says. Do you want artificial french fries? No. Do you want artificial goose meat? No, I don't. Do you want artificial shoes? No. Artificial art, artificial flowers on a tombstone are good because they last through the weather. But, you know, just watch yourself. You don't want everything you do artificial. Don't be an artificial person. Be real. People come to me all the time. They say, Insta, Instagram, how do you stay so positive in a world that feels like it's falling apart? I say, well, I just wake up in the morning and look at myself and say, that's, that's all right. Your, your face is messed up. You need a haircut and you're a little overweight, but hey, it's a good day. I've heard uh, somebody say, oh, look at him. Boy, that poor guy, he's super bald. He doesn't have a thing on his head. And a lot of that is brain power, I think. I've heard that the way the brain works and heats up, hair follicles get burnt up and will fall out. I heard somebody say, like a bunch of rabbits uh, hopping backwards. That's a receding hairline. Good to see you, thanks for tuning in. Your brain cells just went up two IQ points for watching this show. You are one of the smartest people I know because of what you're watching right now. Keep tuned. <laughs> go where everybody knows the game. Ah, what's up, Bear? Go Bears! Uh, whiskey on the rocks. No can do, buddy. Gotta pay your tab first. It's at its limit. I can get you a water, though. But come on! I'll get paid after the game on Saturday. I'll settle up then. One game is not gonna pay your tab. Seriously, we do not get paid enough. All the hassle, uh, the heat, all the hype we bring, and the only people that get paid less than us are the water boys. Maybe we should join a mascot union. I don't know, if I join a union, I'll probably get replaced. We should go on strike. Oh, no, 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 no. Then you'd never pay your tab. I've had to pick up a side gig as a sign shaker, tax season and all. You make enough to pay taxes? No, I, I shake a sign that says, file your taxes here. Yeah, it's hard to get into that Statue of Liberty costume. The Lion of Liberty. Laugh it up, water boy. You wanna go where everybody knows the game? Jason.
Bo, what are you doing here? Man, I came down to shop for one of those new super high definition television sets. I hear they have killer resolution. I know. I had to see it for myself. These look amazing. I wonder how they do it. Well, man, I guess the pixels are just like getting smaller and smaller. I mean, I can't even see the pixels, even when I stand like super close. That's incredible. Hey, do you remember when things were all blocky and pixelated? Yeah, <laughs> now I look back at that stuff and I'm like, how did we ever think that was cool? But it was so cool. It was the coolest thing we'd ever seen. And now everybody's like, I want that classic gaming system because it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, just like us. We're freaking cool. Darn straight. It takes a lot of pixels to make these pixels. That's right, because we are high res, low res. It's current and retro. Genius. Status report. We got ourselves a hacker. I think it's the girl with the Gator tattoo. She's hacking into something big, man. It's good. I think it's nuclear. We could have ourselves a meltdown, literally and figuratively. She is a wild card. There's no good way to do this. We're going in hot. Oh, yeah, we are. Stacy gave it to me because I need a dog sitter. Well, I'm a little busy right now, Dale, so we'll have to talk later. Okay, but first, let me just show you a couple of pictures of Officer Barkston. <laughs> oh, isn't he the cutest? He likes to go on poop patrol and pick up after everyone. Oh, isn't he sweet? Oh, look, I'm late for work, and if you're busy, I... Oh, I don't want Officer Barkston to miss his poop patrol. I'll be right over. What? You've got to be kidding me. Pierce here. Hey, boss. Sorry I'm late. Look, I just got coverage for my dog. I'll be to the scene ASAP. Don't bother, Bubbly. It's under control. Great work. Go team. I'll do the paperwork. I'll be